Hello again and welcome to another lesson to help you prepare for your fundamentals of engineering exam. Today we're going to go over a, an electrical topic and this is resistors in parallel and series and it's something I think that would probably be more applicable to the morning session but um, you know it would be useful for the electrical engineering afternoon session if uh, you don't know this already, which you probably do if you're an EE. For the rest of you who might be thinking that um, you know, circuits are hard, I'm just not going to study for this section, I'm going to focus on my other things, uh, I'd really advise you to go over this stuff because some of this stuff is really a lot easier than it looks. So easy points are easy points, it doesn't matter which section it's in. Uh, if you don't study anything else in the circuit section, at least get a handle on this and my other uh, lessons that I'm going to do about Ohm's Law and things like that. I'll try and keep it simple. So let's get down to work here. Resistors in parallel and series. So if you're looking at a circuit schematic, a resistor is symbolized kind of like this, the jagged teeth like on a jack-o'-lantern or whatever. And um, there's two ways that these can be arranged if you have several of them in a circuit. They can be in series which you might predict would be something like that. And we'll call this R1, R2, R3. Or they might be in parallel. Let's see if I can spell this correctly. Probably not. but you can leave a comment on my YouTube site or my blog and tell me I'm stupid if I did spell it incorrectly so anyway this isn't a spelling test so that's good so you see this would be in parallel okay and you know you might be asked to determine an equivalent resistance because you can take all of these and just analyze the circuit and you can represent them as one resistor that's equivalent to three resistors or two resistors or it doesn't matter however many you have in your circuit. So the formula for this is on page 194 of the supplied reference manual. You can see right here about in the middle of the page on the left hand side. And so, for our series of resistors, we're just adding them up. It's really simple. REQ, this is the re equivalent resistance that you're going to uh, model this series of resistors as, equals R1 plus R2 plus R3 in this case, or if you have in resistors RN. Okay. In parallel, the equivalent resistance is 1 over 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus 1 over R3. 1 over R and and you know if you have two resistors in parallel there is a shortcut and I'm going to show you this but I don't ever use it and I'm almost hesitant to recommend anyone use it because you get in the habit of using this for two resistors in parallel it doesn't work for three or more so you know you try and kind of extrapolate the logic on this one and you get into trouble. So I'll show you but I'm, I'm not really gonna go into it and I would recommend you just get used to doing it the other way. But here it is. This is also on your book on page 194. So there's that, but like I said, that's bad. Don't do that. 
unless you want to screw yourself up or you can get this really straight in your mind so you never do. Okay, let's do some example problems. Say you have a couple resistors in series. We'll do a really simple warm up. And this one is 2 ohms. And this one is 10 ohms. Resistance is expressed in ohms. What is R EQ? Well, since these are in series, this is really simple. The equivalent resistance equals 10 ohms plus 2 ohms equals 12 ohms. You're done. So that was just a warm up though to get a little tougher. Suppose you have three resistors in parallel this time. We'll make a branch. And we'll call this one 5 ohms, 6 ohms, 7 ohms. What is the equivalent resistance of this? Well, we go back to our equation, and it's in your book on page 194 if you don't remember. 1 over quantity 1 over 5 plus 1 over 6 plus 1 over 7. Put that into your calculator, and you get an answer. This is going to be about 1.96 ohms. So if you see these guys on a circuit analysis question, you can just say that this goes to a single resistor of 1.96 ohms. And this will come in handy a little later when you get into Ohm's Law. And Okay, so let's do something a little uh, trickier. Suppose you're asked to analyze a circuit and you need to find the equivalent resistance of these resistors. And you have a resistor here, that's 1 ohm. I have a resistor here that's 2 ohms. Excuse my bad handwriting. And have a resistor here that's 8 ohms. I have a resistor here that's 5 ohms. I have a resistor here that's 10 ohms. You have a resistor here that's 13 ohms, a resistor here that's 16 ohms, and a resistor here that's 2 ohms, and a resistor here that's 5 ohms, and a resistor here that's 17 ohms. And a resistor here that is 968 ohms. And you're looking at this and you're thinking, how am I going to solve this problem in two minutes or less? And you say, well, I'm just going to guess because this is going to take me forever. That would be the wrong answer because you see what I did here, and they might do this with you uh, on your exam, is create a short circuit. So everything over here is totally not applicable. This will just become essentially two resistors in series. One ohm, two ohms. Because they are 
in series, it's really simple. We just add them together. And everybody knows what 1 plus 2 is. So we can model this as a single resistor equal to 3 ohms. And so if you had looked at that problem and gave up on it, that would be easy points that you just threw out the window. So that's really why I wanted to show you this. These circuits problems, a lot of times they look really complicated, but the principles behind them are not. So if you have uh, any desire to learn more about this, check out my blog. We'll have uh, some example problems up there, some other uh, good study materials on other topics related to this, and everything you'd want to know to pass your FE exam, hopefully. Um, I can keep churning these videos out, and someday we'll have a complete study guide for you, so keep checking back. Thank you.